Organic farming methods combine scientific knowledge of ecology and modern technology with traditional farming practices based on naturally occurring biological processes. In the case of pest and disease management, can be rampant, encouraging use of chemicals. Combining pesticides in conjunction with repellent crops can be used in some cases. Since the group has committed to going purely organic, they are growing repellent crops to fight the pest. On part of uh, spraying, we have a type of trithonia, we have a type of we in a container. This container, it takes two weeks. In that container, we cover that container. Take two weeks. Those two weeks, Hiyo mbolea yako itakuwa ready. Unaichukua unaichuja. Baada ukichuja, unalafu ni spray kwa mboga zako. Hiyo unajua it act kama uh, a foliar feed. Also inaua ba hiyo madudu kama mix na pilipili. Hii pilipili pepper kwa kawaida. Kiongeza na hiyo pia unaweka na jivu yani ya makaa hii. Unapiga piga makaa, unaweka juu yake, ujenga ndani yake. That mixture hiyo ni kama sumu kwa wadudu. So, kama aphids, you can kwa mboka zako. So, you can use this video organically. So, this organism, this organism, you can use it as well as well as well as well as well Besides practicing organic farming, the group has also adopted technological skills as traditional methods of farming have become obsolete due to climate change effect. The group has acquired training on how to apply more efficient methods of farming such as raised beds, which have benefits such as water conservation and prevent soil erosion. Manufa ya raised bed ni hivi. Wakati bed ume, umefanya nini umeinua hivi. Kwa sababu intakana upana ikiwa ikuwa one and a half centimeters na una erase wakati ume erase manufaa yake ndio hii moja hizi mboga zinahitaji mchanga mwepesi ndio zifanye nini ndio zikuwe vizuri lakini sasa kama uta kama bila hiyo bed utapata una kanyaga kanyaga ndani kwa sababu it is restricted hata ukiangalia kwa hii bed hakuna mgume kanyaga so e bed in a idea is in boga. This is yani mutas kanyage kanyage ndani ku harden the ground. Alafu wakati kuna heavy rains. Wona tena nduzuri mwingine wa hizi beds. Hizi zinaitwa raised raised beds. Hatujafanya zile double duck. Sababu hizo double duck tena ziko tena na process yake. Wakati kuna heavy rains wakati soil erosion unakuja unapata imefanya nini imekuja inabeba mchanga na wakati hata kama itakuja na ikipata hii bed ume raise hiyo maji itakuja inafika kwa hii mtaro inatafuta kapenyo kakufanya nini kakutoka so utapata mboga zako hazijafagiliwa na nini na maji so na kwanza shamba ambayo ime, ime maintain eh, beds utapata yani deep, depthness yake ya mchanga ile kuwa soft mpaka chini iko yani iko sawa livestock rearing is a practice that goes hand in hand with organic farming the livestock produce manure used in composting while green leafy vegetables supplement livestock feed margaret liboy adds that every group member has at least one or more animals in their farms so hii matawi tunaongeza matithoni ndani na hiyo samadi tunafanya nini tunatengeneza mbolea the group also grew managu they have learned how to propagate the seedlings as required before transplanting them into the main field most of the vegetables take 2 to 3 months to mature mboga mostly ni one month mboga kutoka ile siku umepanda umeipa mbolea mzuri maji yako one month mboga yako imefanya nini one to one to one and a half kitu kama mito Hiyo ni one month kunde, ni one month hapo na one and a half months. Uh, ukikuja kwa kitu kama managu, wakati wa kuipanda, hawezi panda direct kwa, 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 nini, kwa, kwa bed. Unaiweka, unairezi kwa seed bed, kwa sababu ukiipanda direct, haita pata pale chini na fasi mzuri ya kufanya nini ya kupenyesha mizizi. So, kitu kama managu, tunaipanda kando, tukisha ipanda kando, then ikisha atosha, let's say one month, then sasa you transplant. Wakati una transplant, sasa hapo ndo unatengeneza bed yako mzuri, unaeka mbolea, then unaiweka. Ukisha iweka, ikisha ashika, 
hiyo ni a half a month one month so managu mostly nachukua miezi mbili kwa sababu ile duration ya seedbed unaona kama hii hii imekuwa kwa seedbed ndio tume transfer tume transplant so hapa hii itakaa hapa kitu 30 no 30 days or 15 days inakuwa imetosha kufanya nini kuprunua so kuna za kuchukua one month kuna za kuchukua one and a half months kuna za kuchukua two months Green amaranth leaves should be harvested moderately on each plant. Harvesting of leaves is stopped just before flower onset. Heavy harvesting of leaves from one plant may negatively affect flowering size and grain yield. Once the plant flowers, leaf harvesting should be stopped to encourage head development and grain filling. This is very important and determines grain yield. Samko Ile is an extension officer who has trained the community on seed production as well as giving guidelines on how the vegetables should be harvested to aid the plant in populating more leaves. It's a pilot project and we've been able to identify various learnings from the project to see how are we really able to help the farmers. So one of the great objectives that we have is to ensure we have food security and also the farmers are able to get income from the production work that they do. So the major interventions that we have been able to do with the farmers is the capacity building on the good agronomic practices and also doing the linkages to the markets. So during our initiation or the inception of the project, the other buyers that we had engaged and we engaged buyers from Nairobi and there's a particular kind of vegetables that they wanted. The vegetables that were profiled that we will be used for the marketing of this particular project were the cowpea, the leaf amaranth, the spider plant and the black nightshade. So where we are is the leaf amaranth and in this particular farm we were really focusing on the green leaf amaranth which was meant for the human consumption, for the leaf the leaf consumption. Marketing advisors always emphasize on market research before embarking on any venture, either in farming or in any other sector. Identifying a market prospect is key before production. Though the women are putting in a lot of effort in their vegetables venture and getting good yields, they are yet to realize substantial profit due to the unreliable market. Challenge kubwa tu kwa mkulima hata kwa hiyo kulima ya mboga hii ni market. We struggle tunatengeneza mbolea tunapanda lakini tukishapanda wakati wa kuuza inakuwa shida sababu huyo akikuja huyo 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 mama wa mboga those middlemen wakikuja hao wanachukua kwako ndio waende walalishe wakalishe Rwanda mtu atabea atashika mkono yake mzuri na saa zingine anaenda nazo amechuna hajakupa pesa anaenda nazo wakati anaenda nazo akirudi kesho anakuambia ati hizo mboga saa hii mboga zimejaa kwa soko mimi hata si kuuza hizo mboga hata nilimwaga so hiyo pesa inakuwa imefanya nini imepotea hivyo so upande wa upanzi na nini challenge inakujanga wakati wa nini wa <coughs> during dry seasons ndio kuna kuna pambo yenye huwa tunaomba mahali ngaje ilitoa ilikuja na air na nini ilikuja tu another group so huwa tunaitumia so huwa inatusaidia but though tena ni challenge kwa sababu ni ile manual Join us again same time next week for another episode of Horticulture.